Welcome back knitters, I'm Jana from Pearl Together. Today's video is all about block 15 and 16 of Nora's Vintage Afghan. If you're new to the channel, this is a long term knit along that we've been working on for over a year. There are 20 blocks in this fantastic Afghan and this video is dealing with blocks 15 and 16. As always, you'll want to check to make sure that you have the most updated version of the pattern. The last time I checked the Baroque website, it was version 7, so I've included that link down below. So if you're watching this video from the future, check to make sure that that's the correct, most updated version. And if you're new to this knit along, go check out all of the videos in the playlist. I'll link that down below too, and you'll want to start with the introductory one and work your way through. All right, before we get started with that, I'm going to give a big shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to learn how you can become a patron and what I'm offering for just your pledge of just a few dollars per month, check out Pearl Together over on patreon.com forward slash Pearl Together. Okay, let's get started. This is the beginning of block 15, and as we have with the other blocks, we've done four rows of garter stitch, and then our knit one pearl one texture for row five, and then four more rows of garter stitch, row six through nine. Now we're gonna do the increase row, just as we have with all the others. So we're gonna knit one, make one to start with, and when I make one, I'm just gonna use the lifted bar increase. If you've watched my other videos, you know that's not really my preferred method, but I'm following along true to the pattern with these blocks. So I just lift the bar with my left needle, I go into the back of that stitch, and knit into the back of that. So it just twists it and closes any hole that might occur from, from lifting that bar. Now then we're gonna knit two, make one, 27 times across. So knit, and again, I'm just lifting, that bar with my left needle and knitting into the back of that. If you have trouble knitting into the back of that, if you don't have pointy needles like I do, what you can do, again, just lift that bar. What you can do is go into the front and then just kind of roll your needles around so that you end up having your left needle in the front eventually knit into the back of that. So we're gonna knit two, make one all the way across until we end up having only two stitches left. All right, I only have two stitches left, so I'm going to just knit one, make one, knit one, and then I should have 86 stitches all the way across, and you'll always wanna double check that before you move on to the chart. As with previous blocks, the odd numbers are the wrong side, and we're gonna work them from left to right, repeating what's between the red lines. So you wanna just make sure that you read your chart notes here. So beginning on the wrong side, we're gonna work from left to right, and then again from C to B until we end at A. And then on the right side, your begin at A, work across to C, repeating from B to C and ending at D. So the right side is where the cables occur. So first though, we're gonna make a mark, and we're gonna begin on row nine. So I put my, I like to put my tape right above the row you're starting on. And so we're gonna begin with four knits because this is the wrong side. All right, as with the other blocks, we're gonna have a little garter stitch edge going up the side where we're alternating knits and pearls just with that first edge stitch. But I'm on row 10, so this is the right side. So I'm gonna start with the knit and three pearls. And then we have a cable maneuver that's just a two over two to the right. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with a without a cable needle because it's just two over two. So as we've done before in the other videos, this is just a review, you're gonna take your right hand needle and go in under the third and fourth stitches because we're gonna take those across to the right and these are gonna to go to the back. So press those against the right hand needle with your, left, or with your right index finger and just slip that left needle out and then right back in. Pull the right needle over to the right and replace those stitches onto the left needle and then you just go ahead and work those, just knit across. Because the instructions say to knit them, we don't have any pearls in this particular maneuver, so we're just knitting those straight across. So that's a two over two to the right. So now we're gonna do a two over two to the left. So we're gonna, if you're using a cable needle, you would slip these two to the front, but we're not. So we're just gonna go in under the third and fourth stitches there to the left, being careful not to catch the bottom side of the first two. Press those first two stitches with your thumb to the right hand working needle and just slip that left needle out. Bring that around to the front. Put it, inserting the left working needle back into those first two stitches and bring 
your right needle across the back, replacing those to the front. And then again, we're just going to knit straight across those four stitches. So all we've done is trade places with those. Whoops, I seem to have a little bit of a split. There we go. Okay. All right, so there's a two over two to the left. Okay, we're just gonna work that same way all the way across, and that's the maneuvers on row 10, pretty simple. Okay, knitters, now is when I interrupt myself to tell you that we had some technical difficulties. What follows is a photo that's about a third of the way through block 15, and then the completed block photo, because I had some technical difficulties and didn't get the rest of that recorded properly. However, when you get through the chart, it's really very simple. It's the block ends the same way as the previous 14 blocks have, where we just do the decrease row, knit the garter stitch, four rows. The fifth row is the knit one, purl one, knit one, and then the four more garter stitch and the bind off. Exactly the same as all the others have been. So my apologies for that, but I'm pretty sure you can handle it by now. Okay, on to block 16. We are on to block 16 and it starts the same way the previous 15 have with the four rows of garter stitch, the fifth row with a little bit of a contrast with a knit purl, knit purl row, and then four more rows of garter until we do the increase row where you make one knit two, make one knit two all the way across until you have 80, however many stitches, 85, 87, check your pattern. All right, there's just a couple things I wanna point out about the chart. It looks big and ominous, but it's really not. It's just that, they are choosing to show you every single row. The first 12 or 13 rows is just knits and pearls, so that's super simple. You have a little bit of a repeat here, and you have a little bit of a repeat over here. You'll wanna just take note here of the chart notes, read through that as we have been all along. As with all the other blocks, row number one begins on the wrong side, so you'll want to read from left to right. If you're unfamiliar with how to read a knitting chart, I have a link down below for a video that will explain that to you. So let's get started and I'll check back in with you when I get to row 14. Okay, I'm on row 14 now and I've knitted halfway across to where that first green symbol is. And that's just a two over two cable where we first slip two stitches to the cable needle and hold them in back. So if I were pretending to do that, then I would just go into the next two stitches because I'm choosing to do this without a cable needle. And I press those two firmly to the right hand needle and slip my left needle out. And then I'm going to go right back into those two. And I'm just reversing positions with those. So I'm taking the two knit stitches across the front. And I'm going to take my working yarn to the back as you should. And I'm just going to knit right across. And that's how you do a cable without a cable needle. By now on block 16, I'm assuming you're comfortable with either using or not using a cable needle. So we'll purl that center stitch. And then we're to the blue symbol which tells us to slip two stitches and hold them to the front. So if I were gonna do that, these two knit stitches would be held to the front and I wanna get a hold of these two purl stitches that are next. So I'm just going in behind underneath both of those stitches, being careful not to trap the first two, pressing those with my thumb and I slip out the left needle, same as before, and put them right back on. Okay, and then I just put everything back on. And then rather than purling these as they were, the instructions tell us to knit them. Okay, so we're just gonna knit our way straight across all four of those, and we've done a left two over two. Okay, so that was pretty straight up simple, and now we have four stitches in between those, and we'll just go ahead and finish out purling and knitting row 14 and then 15 also. I've knitted across to the orange symbol on row 16, and you can tell that we're gonna work a two over two cable to the right, and these two purl stitches need to be held to the back. It's pretty rare that the purl stitches come forward. This is like the background of your cable design. So we're gonna slip those to the back if you're using a cable needle. If you're not, and you're following along with me, just go in underneath these two knit stitches, and then slip your left needle out, and right back into those pearls. So you recapture them, pull the knit stitches over to the right in the front. Then we're gonna knit those two and purl the next two, because it says purl two off the cable needle. So those are the ones that would have been held in back, being careful not to split that stitch. There we go. Okay, 
So that's the orange symbol. And you know there's a pearl involved because there's at least one pearl involved because there's a dot in the, within that symbol. Okay, the same is true for the yellow symbol coming up. We're just gonna work those five stitches in keeping with the pattern across the center. Okay, pearl the one in the middle, knit the next two, and then we'll do the two over two to the left. So go in behind. If you're using a cable needle, you'll just slip these two and hold them to the front. Press those to your right hand needle and slip your left needle right back in those. Okay. Then we're gonna purl these two, bring your working yarn to the front first, purl those two, and then knit the last, the last two. Okay, so work your way all across the rest of row 16 now. Then everything is the same now until we get to this big red dot here in the middle, and that's a bobble that I will show you how to do next. I'm in the middle of row 24 where we have that first red block that indicates we're gonna knit a bobble. I'm not really a fan of bobbles, but I do understand the value of the design element here. The instructions say to knit into the front and the back of this stitch twice. So there's once, and then we go back in the front and then swing around and knit back in again. So now we have five stitches total made from the once. We have the one here on the left and then the four that we've just loops we've just created on the right. Now I'm gonna slip everything back to the left side. So we have all five stitches now grouped onto that left needle and I'm just going to knit them. Being careful not to split anything. Okay, so I've knitted all of those. And now we're gonna slip them back to the left needle and knit them one more time. So when I slip them back, I'm just making sure I'm not twisting anything. I'm slipping them over straight across. All right, and now we're gonna knit them one more time. All right, now the instructions indicate that we're gonna slip the stitches four, three, two, and one over the fifth one. So I'm gonna take the fourth one and I'm gonna slip it over just like when we do a pass the slip stitch over. Now I'm gonna take the third one and go over and I'm just gonna keep piling them on there until there's only the fifth stitch left. So that's how we decrease everything back down to where we started with one stitch. And then we kind of curl that around so it's a little bobble. And then next we're going to purl four. Okay. And then I kind of like form it. <laughs> there you go. It's like a nose. And I have to say, I'm going to decide whether to keep that or whether I'm going to be the, take some liberties and do something different. Cause I mean, I can understand, I get it, but I don't really care for it. I mean, I get why they have it there, but I have to say I don't really like it. So I'm, I may decide to do something different in the middle of this motif, because if you look at the pattern, we have this design going here and here, and then what's gonna happen is just gonna curl back in, so it's gonna be like a diamond shape with that in the middle. All right, by now you all know the routine. When we get to the end, we do the decrease round back down to 57 stitches, the garter stitch rows, the fifth alternating knit purl, knit purl, and four more garter stitch rows and a bind off. So that's been the same through all 16 blocks. I didn't really feel the need to show step-by-step step all of that again, but I will show you the completed block. I really like it without the bobbles, honestly. I'm not a bobble fan. So let me show you a full-size picture. Can you believe we're 80% done with our long-term knit along? It's amazing and I'm so thankful for all of you that are hanging in there with me. I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's afghans in a few months when we're done. Till next time, happy knitting.